More than a million new cases of cancer will be diagnosed this year with one of the rare forms of cancer being sarcomas. Orthopedic oncology is a highly specialized field and Spectrum Health Medical Group has the only two orthopedic oncologists in West Michigan. Today we have one of them with us, Dr. Joel Post, to talk about how they can help kids and adults with these rare cancers. So I think it's appropriate to really start with explaining what are sarcomas. So sarcomas are very rare. There's only uh, several thousand that are diagnosed in the country each year. They can happen in the bone or in the soft tissue. And they're generally different than what we think of as the more common types of cancers, breast, lung, prostate, for example, really because they start in a different cell or different tissue, like the muscle or the bone. Mm -hmm. I was a little surprised to read that sarcomas are pretty common in children. Can you just talk about that and maybe explain why? Yeah. So. Pediatric and adolescent population tends to have a higher uh, incidence of sarcomas than older patients, but again, they can happen in, in any age and they can happen anywhere in the body. Um, they're, they're very rare, like I mentioned, and they happen in more frequency in the pediatric than the adult cancers mm -hmm. patient population. So, Dr. Pose, let's talk about some risk factors. What would people commonly, you know, what kinds of things would people have that might be at risk for getting sarcomas? So there's certain things that can have a higher incidence of, of sarcoma development. If you've had a family history of them, for example, if you've been exposed to radiation any time in your life, you may be at a higher risk for developing a sarcoma. There are some genetic conditions such as neurofibromatosis that are also linked or associated with their development. Mm -hmm. Spectrum Health has actually some clinics and for children and adults that are coming up. Tell us about these clinics and what would happen or what would a person experience if they go to one? So we have two main clinics. We have one clinic for our pediatric or our adolescent patients and that's at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. It's where we see the sarcoma patients with our medical oncology team as a collaborative group. We have the same uh, at the Lemon Holton Cancer Pavilion for our adult patient population through our multi-specialty clinic where we see patients on a weekly basis who are diagnosed or have concerns for sarcoma. Mm -hmm. What does this usually entail? We know that so many people come to Spectrum Health from other places in Michigan, in this region, to get this specialized care. Would it be a, something that's more long-term? Would it be something that is a short-term treatment? So generally, if you're diagnosed with a sarcoma, it is a, a long-term treatment. It mm -hmm. often involves a combination of therapies, including chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery itself. And we often have to follow the patients for an extended period of time throughout their lives to make sure there's no chance of it coming back. Right. I would imagine it, you know, there's a lot of talk about the Spectrum Health team approach, and the follow-up care is very important in the whole instance of reoccurrence and, and how you might need to change your life you know, a little bit to stay healthy after having a sarcoma or in prevention? Absolutely. They're, they're life-changing diagnoses, but the comforting fact is that we have a, a team that we can offer uh, to our patients and to their families, both in the pediatric and the adult uh, spectrum, where the patients come in and at one setting they can meet with uh, multiple specialists, including the medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, uh, orthopedic oncologists, case managers, therapists. We have that all there to offer them in one setting. Yeah, and we're very fortunate to have two doctors such as yourself here in West Michigan working at Spectrum Health. Thank you so much. We're going to put all the information about the clinics online so they're easy to find. Here's some contact information. If you have any questions, please follow up. There's the phone number. You can also go online for more information. Thank you so much, Dr. Post, for being with us today. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with more at West. Are you West?